Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A greeting of peace to all my family and friends and all the members in the WhatsApp group. Um, first of all, I'd like to wish you uh, Juma Mubaraka, happy Juma. And I also would like to remind you that today can possibly be Laylatul Qadr, it's the 27th night of Ramadan. So, inshallah, do not forget uh, the prayers for our brothers and sisters in Palestine. And pray generally for anything you wish for, inshallah. May Allah accept your du'as. So today I would like to give you a quick update and I will try to be brief um, on the progress with Yumakon Foundation. So first of all, alhamdulillah, we have managed to successfully register the foundation now. And I will show you the share certificate. So it's a... Uh, been registered yesterday on the 4th of April alhamdulillah for that and just to remind you of our objectives uh, I'm going to share the article of association with you um, and really primarily it's uh, an educational uh, foundation we're focused on promoting technical uh, training uh, encouraging people into computer science in different uh, disciplines of computer science of course and focusing more in the areas where I specialize in. I specialize in financial technology, and I've been working as a financial software engineer for several years now, especially within the banking and financial sector. And I see there's potential in that area, so therefore I would like to encourage um, many members in the community to in enter into that field. And of course, we are very flexible, so if someone comes from a different technical field, such as engineering, electrical, electronic engineering, or civil engineering, or any other discipline, even medical field, uh, they're also welcome to uh, use this foundation to promote their field. And ultimately, we are trying to lift up the community, bring people out of poverty by giving them technical skills that potentially could help them uh, pursue a professional career or set up their own business or so on. And I've also included uh, as well social, moral, and physical education. Um, so I, I don't want to go too too long into this because I will do other uh, update videos on exactly our uh, goals and objectives in the foundation. And also, it, it, we, we are focused more on humanitarian aid at the start of this uh, foundation now, uh, primarily to alleviate poverty and try to save as many lives as possible. Uh, and we're, we're now focused on uh, the cause, the Palestinian cause, and trying to help our brothers and sisters escape the violence in Gaza, as well as help them with uh, providing them with uh, food packs and humanitarian aid while they're in Gaza, or if they've been evacuated into Egypt, also give them a lifeline and support uh, while they're in Egypt. And we'll have different programs, inshallah. Um, and with your help and your ideas as well as suggestions, we will try to form our campaigns uh, more appropriately where it's most beneficial. And it really boils down to our purpose in life. Our purpose in life isn't to, uh, you know, enjoy life or or to become wealthy or all all that stuff. Our purpose is to serve others. Service to many leads to greatness. So this is our purpose. This is why Allah placed Adam on planet Earth, so he could you know establish uh, the way of life the, the correct way of life the blueprint which Allah has given us the prescription how to live a successful life to implement that on earth as well as ultimately uh, gain the pleasure of Allah may Allah accept all our efforts inshallah so how are we going to do that uh, we are going to get involved in economic activities I don't know if you can actually see this on the screen here so we're looking into property development we're looking into making investments in various areas, uh, also providing technical skills. At the moment, I am a, an IT consultant. I've actually put everything on pause so I can assist our brothers and sisters, uh, in, in, inshallah, uh, in, in, in Palestine, as well as uh, the people that have entered Egypt. So I'll put everything on pause. I'll put my PhD on pause as well, which I, I intend to uh, you know, restart again and uh, focus more onto that. Uh, side of research, uh, software development, we're looking into developing uh, many applications, 
which ultimately will generate an income for the foundation. So it needs to be self, uh, the foundation needs to be uh, self-sufficient. So pretty much like a Sada Kajaria, a perpetual charity, if you're not familiar with that word, Sada Kajaria. And we're also looking to activities which we deem to be beneficial for the community and society and so on. And really, ultimately, our goal is to show the beauty of Islam, show the beauty of the Islamic way of life, show them that we are, you know, a people that contribute to society, improve uh, the life, the, you know, life for others uh, and for society as a whole. We make a contribution, a social contribution in society and trying to alleviate poverty. Uh, and we're not, we're not just trying to just, you know, feed a man or a woman for a day, you know, give a man a fish, feed him for a day and that kind of stuff. We are looking to teach people how to fish. So we will support them along the way, give them, you know, sustenance so they can survive long enough until they can get on their own two feet and serve themselves. So we will support them along the way, inshallah, and then ultimately uh, make them self-sufficient so they can then support their family and make a contribution as well in the future, inshallah. So this is some of the our, our objectives. And we, of course, we are non-profit. So we're, not, we're not really aiming to generate a profit for shareholders. We're trying to generate a profit for the akhirah, for the afterlife. So this is our... Our aim in this life is to plant seeds here and reap the rewards. It re reap the reward in the afterlife, inshallah. Now there are different ways that we're going to do this. I mean, initial funding will come from myself and from my business in the Isle of Man, um, and I am dwindling away my my finances at the moment. I'm investing as much as I can in the foundation, in establishing this foundation. But ultimately, what I intend to do as well is to, to bring on trustees on the board. They will also make a contribution towards uh, the foundation. And ultimately, we'll, we'll set up a, a membership where uh, people that want to support the foundation on a regular basis, they will make a minimum uh, contribution of £10 a month. Now, this is something like a drop in the ocean for someone that's on 5 10k, 20k a month. And... This is the sort of levels of income that uh, financial software engineers and IT consultants earn as on contracts. So, you know, it's, it's ten pounds a month is a very tiny amount to to expect from individuals that want to support this cause, that want to promote Islam, an Islamic way of life, and create a promotion for uh, the technical skills. Um, so these are sort of things, and, and so anyone that wants to contribute in the community, they will need expected to make at least a minimum of £10 a month on a regular standing order, inshallah. And we will also try to uh, set up different campaigns. Uh, to like, so For example, if we want to save a family uh, from the violence that's taking place right now and the, and the genocide that's taking place in Gaza, we will then create a campaign to save a family. So it could be a family unit of three, four, even up to 10, 12, uh, you know, that dozen members we we'll work out the cost to evacuate them from Gaza and give them a, a basic live, uh, you know, livelihood uh, in, in Egypt, possibly look for accommodation for them, give them enough to survive for, let's say, six months of rent and provide them with, uh, you know, enough uh, stuppants to, to support themselves throughout, you know, get their shopping sorted and that kind of stuff, help them back into education if they were students before, uh, you know, the, the whole violence started on the 7th of October and the, the attack, the assault on, on Gaza uh, by the IDF or the IOF, uh, the, the Israeli Occupation Force, as I like to say. So we will, we will try to create campaigns. So ultimately, if anyone does uh, donate towards any campaign, 100% or more than 100% of the donations will go to that cause. Now, how are we going to do that? Like I said, when we're expecting £10 a month from uh, community members and trustees that are going to be making a contribution, corporates as well, corporate sponsors, uh, such as companies that we were supporting, uh, giving percentage of their profits towards the, the, the foundation. All that will go towards the admin costs, uh, the, the operation costs of the foundation, and then whatever's left over, that will be topped up, uh, that will top up uh, the, the regular donations that are made towards any campaigns. So if someone donates £100 
and there's admin costs of say 10 pounds that 10 pounds will come out of our pocket my pocket the foundation's pocket the, the, the trustee's pocket that will pay for the admin costs the 100 pounds will go purely towards the court the cause so that's how we, we intend to to operate and of course no one on the board will earn a salary from this so we're all working as volunteers we all have a second income from elsewhere as a professional career or we have a business on the side uh, a side hustle whatever you want to call it and that's will be uh, the way we will sustain ourselves and anything anything else will be covered by us so we are paying out of our pocket not making money out of this we are contribute constantly contributing um, and, uh, and anything that anyone else uh, donates towards the, the foundation um, that will go directly to getting food uh, you know paying for uh, you know simple things like uh, helping people to, to immigrate paying for legal fees to, like a, for an immigration lawyer to help us uh, you know uh, deal with a case for example if we want to unite a family uh, that's currently in Egypt but they've got an extended family in the UK or elsewhere we will help them to uh, migrate legally to a different country where they can uh, be safe from from any sort of uh, violence whether it be domestic or or uh, like a foreign invasion in the case of uh, Palestine where ethnic cleansing and uh, a genocide is taking place at the moment so these these are the sort of things that we will be looking at inshallah um, there is one thing as well which I'm going to update you on I am planning to get uh, mobile phones there's a lot of people that you know obviously when their property got uh, bombed and so on they lost all forms of communication so we're trying to establish links so I have uh, secondhand mobiles like this uh, which I'll be providing to um, some doctors that will be going into Gaza shortly inshallah as well as uh, I'll be setting up uh, bank accounts so if anyone wants a bank account with a card uh, a multi-currency account you can sign up for a wise account or any other uh, online digital bank and then you can request a card uh, if you're having difficulty obtaining the card uh, then I, will, I can assist you with that obtaining that card and then making sure that you get your your debit card and you'll be able to use it uh, in in Gaza inshallah okay so these are the sort of things we'll be trying to do is create a link into Gaza so we can provide financial aid, uh, food, packs, uh, as well as forms of communication. So there, there could be a communication link between the families that have managed to evacuate and the families that are still inside Gaza. Uh, so yeah, these are different programs we'll be working on, inshallah. I will update you once I have more stuff to, to give. But I will tell you what I'm planning to look into next. So one thing I'm looking into right now, I've got some notes on the other screen here, uh, is setting up a dedicated bank account for the foundation. And secondly, uh, looking into setting up uh, the, the Yumacom domain, Yumacom foundation domain, so we can start putting up all the different marketing materials and different campaigns and all that stuff. And if you're a software engineer, web developer, or content writer please step forward and contribute some of your skills so we can establish this if I don't get any volunteers coming forward then I will have to take on that job and develop the, the website myself uh, so that's not a problem um, and then also we're, I'll be looking into setting up a dedicated YouTube channel uh, and other social uh, network uh, channels as well uh, to promote the foundation's cause and uh, you know give out information on our progress as well so inshallah that's to do that as well um, there's a number of other stuff as well that I'll be looking into uh, but yeah that's not very important right now maybe I'll update you uh, in, in, in the near future but yes definitely if you are interested in coming on the board as a trustee committee member uh, community member just helping out a volunteer any any at any level uh, please get in touch with me as soon as possible because I want to build a, a team around this foundation and this foundation is for everyone it's not it's not my foundation it's not at the foundation of uh, you know a small uh, members or just friends and family this foundation is your foundation you have every right to come in give us constructive criticism 
guide us if you have some experience in the field of nonprofit organizations. We want to form this together, okay? And we want to audit our stuff. So we want to be very transparent on exactly what we do, how we, we get funded, how we distribute the funds, uh, what projects we're supporting, and so on. So we want to be completely transparent who the beneficiaries are and so on, okay? So you can give us advice. If you've got experience, give us advice. We're always listening, okay? Inshallah. Um, and also uh, someone that's has got more of a, an accounting background. So if, you, if you're an accountant and so on, yeah, please do come forward. Uh, for legal background, please do come forward if you want to contribute some of your time help in some of the cases uh, regarding migration. If it's uh, in Egypt or the UK or elsewhere, please step forward and make yourself known as well so we can all we'll cooperate together, inshallah. And, uh, and also, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, possibly today I'll be finalizing the, the contract for uh, our, our office in Glasgow. So I, I am going to be renting an office dedicated for uh, this foundation inshallah and also i'll be transferring one of the properties i recently purchased to the foundation inshallah as well so that will be an asset for the foundation so if someone in the future uh, ends up in glasgow and they need uh, you know an accommodation or anything like that we will also help you uh, get into low rent accommodation or free Possibly free if you can't afford uh, paying rent and you have no support and so on. You know, I'll be happily uh, willing to accommodate you in this property in Glasgow. So definitely, we will try to establish a, a support structure uh, within the foundation as well for anyone that uh, does end up uh, in in that side of the country in, in Scotland. And inshallah, if we can acquire more properties, uh, we, we acquire properties, cash buyers only. Uh, so we will buy properties on cash. Uh, we don't take loans. We don't take mortgages because all this is stuff is haram. So we don't want to engage in any haram activity. Even if it's 1% haram, we stay away from it. No loans, no debts, no saving accounts. We're not like other charities that take zakat and sadaqah. And place it on high interest uh, bank account and then earn interest on it we don't want to be get involved in anything that's remotely haram we want to stay purely 100 percent inshallah halal so this is our intention and if you do notice anything that we do that's you know slightly on the borders or in a gray area please let, let make us aware of it because we want to stay as halal well not as halal as possible 100% halal, inshallah. Okay, so please uh, advise us if we see, if you notice anything. No one's perfect, so you know, someone could be uh, doing something out of ignorance. So please do advise us on exactly uh, the correct way to do things. Okay, and of course, we have uh, the Quran, the guidance from Allah, the Quran, the word of the word of Allah, as well as we have the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace and blessings be upon him as a guidance as well. So we always use that as a reference point, inshallah. Don't want to take too long. I think I went overboard here, but uh, I will just finish off and say to you, uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Enjoy, enjoy the last few days of Ramadan. May Allah bless you and give you barakah. And inshallah, may Allah liberate Palestine and unite the, the Muslim ummah and guide our misguided Muslim leaders and wake them up. Or, or replace them uh, with people that are sincere, uh, sincerely care about uh, the nation and and uh, the Islam and our community, and will stand up uh, brave and not fear anyone except Allah. Inshallah, may Allah bring us good leaders, righteous leaders, like in the past, like the Sahabas. Inshallah. Okay. Salam alaikum, wa barakatuh, and take care. Bye bye for now. Take care. Bye bye.